good YouTube, Jabal back with Abdul Aesthetics and today is a very special day. Listen man, I'm gonna be honest with you all. It took a lot out of me to actually make that last video that I made. I was going back and forth for myself about two to three weeks like, should I make it, should I not? Should I expose myself like this? I really don't feel comfortable doing this, but I don't wanna keep living this way. Maybe other people are going through the same thing. Maybe this might help some people. This might really be a good thing for the channel. Just a bunch of mixed emotions and stuff like that. And then I ultimately decided to do it and it did very well. A lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Abdul underscore aesthetics. Messaging me, commenting on my videos on TikTok. Make sure to follow me on TikTok at Abdul Aesthetics, all one word. This is the craziest shit in the world. I even had people email me. The only people who email me is Amazon when they tell me my pack is on the way. <laughs> I had people email me saying, bro, listen, I really appreciate your video. You inspire me to be better. You make it a little bit easier on me to cope with the fact that I am a compulsive eater. I am a stress eater. Things like that definitely make me feel good. Make me feel like I did the right thing. When it comes to being honest about yourself, the first thing you want to do is second guess yourself because that's a very uncomfortable thing. But in all actuality, regardless of how uncomfortable it may be, on the other side of uncomfortability is success. To all the people who have messaged me and stuff like that, just know I really appreciate you all. I replied to damn near every comment that I got, even every email that I got, and it was a lot of them. I just realized that my couch is messy as hell. Let me, hold on right quick. A few moments later. Now, let me a little thirsty. Now that we've addressed the problem, it's now time for us to take the necessary steps to make sure that this problem goes away for good. My struggle with food has definitely taken a toll on not just my physical health, but my mental health, definitely my financial health, emotional health. It's a never ending cycle that most people get stuck in. And the only way to break the cycle is to introduce new elements into the cycle. I am a huge believer in the fact that if you want to end your day good, you have to start your day good, right? One problem that I would definitely cause on my own, I would either not eat breakfast, which would make me extremely hungry in the coming hours, which would force me to go buy something, which would send me down a downward spiral, or I wouldn't eat the right breakfast, which would pretty much do the same thing. So it's almost like I shouldn't have eaten in the first place. One very underrated aspect of starting your day off right is getting back to the basics. As far as nutrition is concerned, this is a pan, this is a stove. I put the pan on the stove, I turn the pan on. I turn the pan on, I fucked up. I turn the stove on. We got a serving of oatmeal, three eggs. Every time I like count macros and stuff like that, I like to get them down to the T. We got 1.8 ounces of turkey sausage. We got eight ounces of iced coffee. And what you saw me put in that coffee was silk almond creamer. It was the caramel version. It's about 40 milliliters of that. I know me saying things like ounces, grams, milliliters, it may sound a little like confusing and it may be like, damn, you really gotta do all that to slim down? You don't have to do it this way. This is just the way I choose to do it. It's not gonna take anything for me to like add up all these calories either. I got the MyFitnessPal app right here. Three eggs, it's 210 calories. A serving of oatmeal, it's 140 calories. Hillshire Farm turkey sausage. 1.8 ounces of turkey sausage comes up to 81 calories. Unsweetened Dunkin' iced coffee. 13 calories, 40 milliliters, 67 calories. This brings our breakfast to a grand total of 511 calories. That is perfect. What got me to almost 400 pounds, usually I would just eat whatever. I'd be feeling some type of way, so I would just say, Fuck it, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. After going back and tracking the macros and calories and what I would actually eat, sometimes I would eat breakfast of, you know, 800, to 1200 calories. Or like I said earlier, I wouldn't eat anything which would cause me to get really hungry and then eat a lot of food later on in the day and that would be roughly 15 to 2000 calories in itself. I'm, I'm so serious, like, bro, like I can eat a lot of food and then when you have these emotional issues, body image issues, you don't feel confident, stuff like that, you wanna fill that void with food and that's what I did. We are going to go ahead and punish this food right quick and we're changing all of that step by step. We're gonna take it one day at a time. The big goal, let's just give a random number, 250 pounds. 250 pounds is 118 pounds from now. We're not even thinking about that. 
We're focusing on losing fat, maintaining and building muscle and rehabbing because you know, I tore my pec step by step, day by day, minute by minute, second by second, making the right decision to put us in position to basically be who we know we are and who we know we can be. Look at this dude, man. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> Skirtington. Okay, I hopefully got a decent amount of time because they like to play copyright in here. I'm only doing legs, right? Ain't really nothing going on with uh, my pack. I mean, I did a little light shoulders the other day. That really wasn't worth anything. My squat form might look a little wonky. I had a history of knee problems. I haven't had knee problems in a couple of years. You, you never really want to work out to aggravate joints and shit like that. It works for me. It may not work for everybody else, but it is what it is. Be sucking out a race, homie. I embrace lonely. That is when I learn and reflect. I'ma earn my respect. What I gain is what I kept. I step proud with it. So I gotta keep that shit moving. Passing my former as I maneuver. Dreaming like Luther. I gotta get the shit out the sewer. It is what it is. My destination is my destiny. I will never miss, bitch. <laughs> I didn't do too much. I'm still in rehab mode. Even holding the bar the way I was holding it, like, because most people squat like this, but see, I squat like that. My shoulder to waist ratio is ridiculous. I got pretty wide shoulders, so I hold a bar like this because, like this, just I just feel so squeezed up doing this. You gotta get out of here. I got a photo shoot. Well, it ain't my photo shoot because look at how I'm dressed. Need something quick, fast, and packed with protein. So. I got my blender, which I bought. I must have bought this blender like three years ago, and I maybe used it a total of 15 times. Still technically brand new. Cocoa Pebbles Whey Protein Isolate. Less than a gram of fat, two grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein for every 32 ounces. 32 grams, 32 grams. I'm going to, because I still have a decent amount of carbohydrates. Damn it. I still have a decent amount of carbohydrates left. Not sure if I'm gonna go get something to eat later on, or if I'm just gonna come back to the house and cook. Excuse me, I'm grabbing this banana. So we're gonna get our trusty food scale. Hey, listen, when I say you invest in a food scale, I mean that. This, 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 this simple $10, $15 investment gonna save you a world of trouble. It's gonna make this whole process so much easier, it's not even funny, right? Especially when you, you know, you're starting out trying to slim down as opposed to getting bigger, it's gonna be crazy. Half a banana, 2.4 ounces. Some ice, some water. I just need to get rid of this water. I had this water bed. Cause we, we, we weigh out everything on this channel, right? We don't slam doors around here, right? <laughs> this is why I have a wide variety of styrofoam cups. I'm gonna go ahead and put the 80 grams of protein in there. You're gonna have a little something, something left in the cup, but that doesn't matter. Now we blend it up. That's good stuff. Before we clean up, I'd like to do this one or two ways, right? I log the food as I weigh it, or I just wait till I'm done and then I just put it all together. So, shut your goddamn mouth, phone. I also have four ounces of jasmine rice and four ounces of chicken thighs before I went to the gym. I said I was gonna go after breakfast, I ended up doing some shit on the computer and it lost track of time. Also, this app, like I'm trying to tell you, you need to download this MyFitnessPal app. It also has a barcode scan on it. Damn it! You can find the barcode of what you're about to eat or drink or whatever. You put the barcode on it, it scans it, and it just pops right up. Makes it a whole lot easier on you. So, so far today we've only eaten 1,166 calories. We still got 1,534 calories. That is plenty of calories for it being 4.30 in the afternoon, obviously, because the sun's up. Hey, you ready to go? Okay, okay, okay. So it is Sunday morning. It's 9.51. I'm pretty much gonna spend the next couple hours putting this video together, so... 
Of course, you know you got speed races early in the f***ing morning. I'm pretty much gonna spend the next couple hours putting this video together, making podcast episodes. You know, make sure you subscribe to my podcast channel. Handle that podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for another episode of the Handle That Podcast. I always leave the link in the description, so just go ahead and check that out. We're talking about a bunch of things, popular topics, mental health topics. I actually got a lot of people that have a lot of stories that they want to share. A lot of folks that saw my recent video and were pretty much moved and they want to be able to share their story and explain themselves and basically give people a different outlook on life. Not just the fake positive shit that people post online nowadays. You know, real people, real situations, real discussions. So as you can see here, I got a plate of one serving of grits, three eggs, three strips of turkey bacon, and you already know, my fitness pal. Another good thing about my fitness pal is that if you like me, you tend to eat the same things a lot. So if you measure it the right way, you only have to like start typing what you're about to eat. If it's what you already ate and it's the same measurement, my fitness pal just saves that because it's like, okay, yeah, well you're probably gonna eat that again today. Or you can change it once you get in there. It is what it is. With that being said, man, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, all of it, Abdul Aesthetics, except for Instagram, it's Abdul underscore aesthetics. Pretty much got that all that in my bio anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Till next time. Deuce! I really gotta learn to um like close out my videos faster. Cause I'm tired of my food being cold. I mean this is only this is only the second day, but I feel like this is a pattern that I'm about to get into. Oh yeah, why you here? Make sure to check out this video right here. So far I think that's my best video. Well, at least until this video comes out. Y'all be easy.